All right, everybody. Welcome back. We are switching over to the Pro Dota Cup. And we have Leviathan Gaming versus Unknown. We saw in the last game, if you were watching, Unknown come back from a 20k gold deficit to beat Kawhi. We'll see what happens this game. They do pick up the Batrider, which was instrumental to their comeback last time. Bands coming out from Unknown. They're throwing out the Outworld Devourer. They're throwing out the Lone Druid. Leviathan is throwing out the Oracle and the Enchantress. Don't want to deal with that offlane. Uh, Sproinker. Vengeful Spirit and Invoker are the first two picks up from Leviathan. Well, well, well. Look at the cat drugged in. Dr drugged? Is he, dr is he on drugs? Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Yeah, there's 5 seconds left now. Well, what do you know? It's reserve time. Dropping heavily into their reserve time here. Not quite sure what they want to pick up. They were up against an invoker in the last game. Didn't really have the greatest answer for it until they picked up a divine rapier on their gyrocopter. Dusk. Looks like they'll go for the lockdown of a tusk to help deal with this invoker a little bit in the early game. And then they throw out the oh, faceless void. Oh man, Rick, there's only ten seconds left to pick a hero. Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Leviathan decides to throw out the Witch Ooh, Doctor. Brilliant. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them toss out the Undying with their next band to keep some of the uh, best combos with Tusk uh, out of Unknown's Grasp. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Oh. Unknown tosses out the Juggernaut. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Yeah, there's 5 seconds left now. Hey Morty, guess what time it is? I don't know, Rick, what is it? It's reserve time! Dropping into this reserve time here, Leviathan's not exactly sure what they want to throw up. May not be familiar with all of Unknown's uh, most played team, heroes. Pick it, pick it so they throw out the Ursa, which always goes great with a tusk because you can just snowball him forward Radiant and team, then man. suddenly you have a giant angry bear man on the top of you destroying you so leviathan will pick up a beast master oh man rick there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Well, that'll be some nice counter initiation. Uh, if they're time. as good with the Beastmaster roars as Kawhi oh, was, man. they will be able to throw out a roar to every hero. single time this Batrider gets a lasso out. Yeah, there's five Sucker. seconds left now. Come on, Dire Team. Pick it, pick it good. Unknown decides they want to pick up the Disruptor. For a really nice team fight. Snowball in, oh, drop a static me. storm on top of that. Skyrest says we can do the targeted alts as well and picks up a Skyrath Mage for the Mystic Flare. 
That way, if the Bat Rider does jump in, the roar comes out, the Mystic Flare comes out, and the Bat Rider is no more. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Five seconds, Morty. Take It'll be fine. Assassin. Oh, dire team bang. For their mid hero, and no one will pick up the Templar Assassin. So they will need a carry for their last slot. We'll see what Leviathan thinks they might be going for oh, man, based on this ban here. The They've hero. already thrown out the Ursa. Yeah, five seconds left now. Reserve time! So they get rid of the Slark, Radiant Team Band. which a known had played against them last time, and it was fairly devastating. A known throws out the gyrocopter, oh, thinking Dyer they team. won't be able Come to on, pick it up pick themselves, and they don't want Le Leviathan to be able to take it. So both teams need their hard carry right now here. We will see exactly what either team is thinking. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero. Yeah, there's five seconds left now. Hey Morty, guess what time it is? I don't know, Rick, what is it? It's reserve time. So Leviathan actually picks up a Death Prophet, so they'll probably send the Death Prophet towards the mid, send the Invoker to the safe lane, and let the Beastmaster take this off lane. We'll see what Unknown has to say about that based on their final pickup here. Seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Dropping down to the reserve time. Only have five seconds of the reserve time kick. So they actually pick up the bristle back here. So no traditional hard carry. Uh, the bristle back normally played in the offlane position will be able to take up the reins of the hard carry easy enough here. Uh, he'll have a decent amount of damage coming out. He'll have a nice minus armor effect to help out this Templar Assassin. So there's a bit of team synergy here and we'll see if they can get this game over before the Death Prophet uh, Death Ball comes out. So we'll be jumping into this game in just a minute here folks. Once again, this is the Pro Dota oh, Cup, sponsored Rick, by Azubu. I am the Opinion Engineer. You can find me on Five Twitter, at Opinion It'll Engineer. Alright, we are now into this game. Smoke comes out for the Vengeful Spirit. And Disruptor counters with a pause. TA wasn't quite ready yet. Looks like they need just another second after that. So we are paused up here folks, just waiting for Unknown to actually get ready to go. They had just finished up a game maybe a minute before this draft actually started. 
So I'm sure they are still trying to get everybody through the bathroom, get a drink to everybody, get everybody put back together. And ready to rock for this next game. Old Jim and Dimmy, Jimmy Demon Ho, not really sure what's going on. Needs to pause. The BM is already coming out. The salt is flowing deeply with this one. And let's get this game underway. Some good manners coming out from everybody but Demon. You see this guy right TP down to the bottom. Got this boar in front of him as well. That's not really a boar. Should be called Dinosaur. We see the Death Prophet, Vengeful, and Beastmaster kind of rotating through the jungle here. The unknown the team of unknown is actually smoked up here. Not able to find anybody. Thirty seconds until the game starts, Rick. I, I, I'm getting my things ready, Morty. So a bit of a wasted smoke there. I won't be able to find anybody. Do throw down a sentry to block a camp on their way out. They'll send the send the TA back up to get this ruin eventually. Death Prophet, Spirit Siphon leveled up, ready to take this bottom to or bottom ruin here. CTA grab the ruin up top as expected. See this invoker up top in the safe lane here, backed up by the Vengeful Spirit. We see a Beastmaster in the off lane, Snout Shield up on him. We see the Bristleback coming down through the safe lane for uh, the Team of Unknown. Along with a disruptor, we can see a tusk here to help out this TA while the Skyrath Mage sticks around. Won't go down immediately or not quite enough damage yet. Hasn't actually skilled up anything on this Templar Assassin just yet. And now she'll take her side blades. Doesn't want the refraction at level 1. Would rather get some long range harass in. Death Prophet already cracking level 2, just slightly ahead of this Templar Assassin here. It's gotten 4 denies to the Templar Assassin. 0 last hits, 0 denies. Tusk will rotate out. Templar Assassin says, go around, see if we can kind of pincer them in. I've got my level 2, I've got my refraction charges. Throws out the shards. Not able to get him... Tusk wasn't quite level 2 yet, so he does not have the snowball forwards. Tusk sticking in the area, repositions himself to kind of get some of these last hits. Templar Assassin doing the best she can to keep the lane pulled back here. If the TA is not careful, she will go down here. Tusk walking forward, cell popped up by this Templar Assassin. Not wanting to give an inch to anybody here. Finally got a last hit. Got a deny. Missed that one here. Death Prophet is rolling ahead right now. But still only level 2. Just cracked her level 3. Actually fell behind the TA here because the Skywrath was in the lane for so long. See the Venge here. Just kind of pulling creeps. We see the Bat Rider coming in to address this a little bit. Tusk rotating in. Still level 1. He's got some shards if he wants. Traps out the Invoker. Traps out the Eventual Spirit. Snowball onto the Invoker. Looks like the Beastmaster goes down uh, on the bottom to the Bristleback here. Still chasing this Invoker. Won't actually be able to pick him off. And so a 2 for a 0 across the board here. If this Tusk isn't careful, he will go down. But it looks like he'll be able to get out. So down on the bottom here, it looks like the Bristleback and Disruptor. And naturally, 
Skywrath Mage able to pick up this tusk as he's trying to run away. Sunstrike will come out and pick up this Bat Rider. A couple Tusk Illusions doing some damage to the Skywrath Mage. Won't be able to pick him up. They'll be able to kill these guys. Death Prophet still leading the Templar Assassin, but falling. Not falling behind yet, but is slowly losing her lead to this Templar Assassin. You can see the Skyrath Mage suicides in the jungle for a quick trip back to the well. Bristle back down here, farming away, top of the board, right behind this Invoker, right ahead of the Invoker now. Invoker not having too much trouble with the eventual spirit up here. This Bat Rider is just kind of working on some creeps in the jungle. Looks like the Skywrath Mage was able to TP in and get a kill onto this Disruptor. Skywrath Mage goes down to the Disruptor after that. And now the Beastmaster is working on killing off the Disruptors. Tusk snowballs in and picks up the Beastmaster. So in the end, a two for two, but they lost their safe lane carry for just an off lane and a support. So, slight advantage going in the way of Leviathan. Up top, we can see the Bat Rider doing a little bit of poking onto this Invoker, making sure the Eventual Spirit isn't having too easy of a time. Templar Assassin just kind of sitting up here towards these Ancients, trying to stack them up a little bit so she can start to farm them up with her Psyblades and Refraction Charges. Tusk working on pulling and stacking up the camps a little bit here. Bottle and a Boots coming out for this Templar Assassin. Bottle, empty bottle on the Courier. Skyrath Mage heads in, able to get a nice sun strike out onto this Templar Assassin. Refraction charges are down, so she will go down to the last Crypt Storm from the Death Prophet Spirit Siphon out onto the Tusk. Not able to actually pick him off. Bat Rider still has Firefly up. He'll be able to back out just fine. Shards fly forward. It's not able to actually pick anybody else up off of that. No other support TPing in. Skyrath Mage still hunting. The Tusk saw him in the area, and he will look to go for a snowball forwards and pick him off. But Skyrath Mage will escape just fine. Bat Rider awfully low here. Gets a bottle charge from the Templar Assassin to heal himself back up. And the Skyrath suicides to the neutral creeps as the Tusk finds him in the woods. Lost 120 gold on that one. Not that ideal for him. Death Prophet has her level 6 now after that Templar Assassin kill. Just hit level 6 on the Templar Assassin. TP in from the Skywrath. Going to try to pick off this Bristleback again. Was successful on the last rotation. We'll see if they can have similar luck this time around. Might be a little more keen to it. Roar comes out. Sunstrike comes out. Followed up by Ancient Seal and a nice easy kill onto the Bristleback. Tusk now in the area. Didn't go for the shards, didn't go for the snowball. He'll need it in a second here to dodge some of the damage coming out. And he snowballs into the creep wave. They'll continue to chase and be able to pick him off in just a second. Disruptor in a similar fate here. A little low on mana from the Skywrath. Not quite able to get the range, range for one attack. That should not kill him here. And he's still got a little bit of health. Has the mana for a glimpse. Has to be careful, actually feeds his life away, but secures the Bristleback a kill. So, slightly worth it, especially since that was worth 400 gold going towards the Bristleback. That'll help him get back in this game a little bit. Up top, we can see the Vengeful Spirit trying to help this Death Prophet out and get a gank onto this Templar Assassin. Foiled her with just running away. Invoker, 1400 gold, and a Gloves of Haste. Looks like he will be picking up a Midas. Tusk working through the woods. Just kind of warding up right now. Rotating through. See if they can pick up a kill on this Death Prophet. 
be a fairly hard kill with just the two of them, but with a bottled DD, they could probably look to do it. Bristleback has resorted to just doing a bit of farming in the woods here. There's a hawk scouting him out right now, so they know exactly where he is. And a nice roar sun strike. Not in range for the seal yet. And there comes the seal. Don't have the mystic flare. There's the mystic flare. And that's the death of the bristleback again. Lasso comes out onto the beastmaster to be able to pick him up. Scarath Mage should down here. Snowball rolls forward and a couple last hits, and that'll be the end of the Skyroth Mage. Again, another one for two. Lose your bristle back again. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. But that was heavily in the favor of unknown. Templar Assassin still up here and working. Looks like she's just kind of working on stacking these camps for the Bristleback. Unknown will team up on a three stack of jungle creeps here. Looks like the Batrider is just trying to farm up a little bit here. He's got the Blink Dagger up. Mine is completed for the Invoker. Vengeful Spirit. Just farming away, 400 gold and a brown boots. Skyrath Mage, another smoke on him, double null tally. Beastmaster, 450 gold away from completing his Necrobook 1. Templar Assassin. Looks like she'll actually start to work on these ancient creeps herself. Smoked up. Leviathan runs in. Instantly drops her. Didn't even have time for the Sunstrike to land. And they say, thanks for stacking up these creeps. We'll go ahead and clean them up ourselves. Beastmaster has to be careful. He might actually go down to these creeps here. He's taking a little bit more damage than he wants. He needs to just stand in the back line. Tusk rolling in. The shards come in just to get a little bit of chip damage onto him. Skyrath Mage jumping forward. Tusk goes down. Lasso forwards from the Batrider. Might be able to kill the Skyrath Mage before the Batrider actually goes down. Static Storm out from the Disruptor. Glimpse back. Dis Disruptor not able to kill anybody there. Exorcism up from the Death Prophet. Bristleback is here. Trying to get some damage onto this Death Prophet, but Exorcism out, and it's just him. He will take a lot of damage. Templar Assassin comes back in to her death. Bristleback will just have to run home. And so that, in the end, was a 4 4 1. 1700 gold going in the way of Leviathan, and he'll take a tower off the back of that. Down on the bottom lane, Beastmaster has the gold to complete the first level of his book. And he will buy that and send it out to him. He'll start working on this bottom tier oh, one. Top tower is under attack. Invoker has a minus 2,000 gold. Blink forward by the Batrider, not able to get in range. Actually 14 seconds until he actually has the lasso. So this is a bit of a risky proposition here. This might end up costing the Batrider his life, and it does. Tusk Snowball forward, able to pick off this Skyrath Mage. Might be able to pick off this Invoker before we can get the Ghost Walk off. He's out of mana. Glimpse home onto the Death Prophet, able to pick off this Invoker before the Bristleback goes down. The Disruptor having some problems with some of these Forged Spirits. A couple of Quills come out from the Bristleback to help deal with them to save the Disruptor's life. In the end, a 1 for 2. Yeah, that attack. was definitely worth it for Unknown. They lose their Batrider, but they pick up the big attack. kill on the pretty much free farming invoker. Uh, in attack. the meantime, Beastmaster has actually taken out the top or the bottom tier 1, working on the bottom tier 2. Batrider in the area, Disruptor TPing in. They'll try to put a stop to this Beastmaster. Blink forward, lasso onto the Beastmaster Venge counter swap. And Beastmaster will try to TP out underneath the Static Storm. Not able to actually get it off here. So we can see another 1,000 gold. 
should be the kill, the death of the Bristleback here. Skyrath Mage able to pick off the Batrider on the back of that. Tower does go down. Won't be able to push towards the high ground or anything after this here. They'll just have to regroup. Might look at taking out a Roshan. They have the Exorcism, so they should ideally make use of that while they have 15 seconds of nothing going on from a known invoker able to pick up the tower with his forge spirits and it looks like they'll rotate towards the mid tier one found the templar assassin just kind of hanging out here skyrath mage probably able to pick her off sunstory comes out from the invoker to finish off the kill blink forward by the bat rider onto the skyrath here he has the mana no blink dagger up right now no lasso up roll forward by the tusk that'll be the death of him Glimpse backwards by the Invoker. Ghost walk out by him. They have a Dusk on the Tusk, though. Blink up on the high ground. Bat Rider doesn't want to blink up there after him. Still a couple seconds on cooldown. Death Prophet, in the meantime, takes out the Aegis. While the Skyrath Mage keeps everybody busy in the mid, he will head down the mid. Hopefully try to take out a Tower or two while he has the Aegis. 100 seconds before his exorcism will back up. Roar onto the Templar Assassin. This will be the death of him. He just went down. This is a pretty rough game for the Templar Assassin right here. Let's jump over to the net worth graph. And we can see the Templar Assassin down here is actually behind the support disruptor. Sunstrike up onto this Bat Rider. He goes down. Looks like Leviathan is out to prove a point in this game, giving no quarter to Unknown. You can see 700 gold swing towards Unknown. Skyrath Mage picks off the Bristleback again, seemingly by himself. I'm sure there was a Sunstrike coming out from the Invoker. Rolling through the mid-tier 1, rolling through the mid-tier 2 now. Swap out from Demon, brings the Tusk back into range of everybody. Long Raid's Concussive Shot, Neon able to deal the lethal damage there. Templar Assassin back in the area. Snowball up from Tusk to dodge some of this negative earn charge damage here. He does eventually go down to the Wave of Terror from the Vengeful Spirit. All of Leviathan pretty low here. Don't have an exorcism for 20 seconds. They'll back up, regain some health. Maybe look at taking out these Ancients before they actually want to break that high ground. They'll pick up a couple creeps, kind of heal up a little bit. Second level of Necro Book coming out for the Beastmaster. Double. There was a rod of Atos or something coming in for somebody else. Not sure what that. I don't know if both those wizardries were for the same person. They indeed are. It's actually for the Death Prophet. A little bit of an odd choice for a Death Prophet. What a nice early game catch item. Can't really complain about that. Exorcism up. Necro books rolling. They'll walk up to the high ground here, see if they can take out this Lena Rax at the 17 minute mark here. No one able to actually get forward to do anything about these spirits coming out from the Death Prophet. She walks up onto the high ground, still has plenty of time on her alt. They'll be able to clean up the melee racks first, then work onto the ranged racks. There's some chip damage coming out from the Beastmaster, keeping everybody's blink dagger on cooldown. And they take that racks pretty much for free. Glimpse onto the Beastmaster, deafening wave to push everybody back. No go onto him. Lasso comes out and instant swap from the Ventral Spirit to stop that. Looks like most of the team will push the mid lane. The Ventral Spirit will uh, TP to the bottom to help push it forwards, and they'll actually leave the mid. They're happy with taking that single lane of racks, and they'll just go back farming. 75 seconds until the next exorcism. They'll like to probably wait for exorcism to come up before they push up.
check the net worth graph here. 20k gold in the way of Leviathan. Now, for those of you who weren't watching the last game of Unknown versus Hawaii, Unknown was actually able to come back from a 20k gold deficit down two lanes of racks. So we'll see if they can pull out a similar feat this game. It does not look as promising, but you never know. Last time they did it with a Gyrocopter Divine Rapier. No such luck coming out right now. They are losing everybody right now. Able to pick off this Beastmaster, maybe. Might be able to pick off this Skywrath Mage. They will lose the Beastmaster, swap in from Vengeful Spirit. Be able to pick off this Bristleback before he can escape. Absorcism up in six seconds. Death Prophet running forward with her Aegis. They are going deep onto this Bristleback. They want to end this game right now. Death Prophet lost her Aegis. Buyback from the Bristleback. He jumps forward. Exorcism comes out. If they can get a disable onto this Bristleback and get a bunch of damage onto him, that'll likely be the game. Only one creep left for this push, they'll have to wait for another wave of creeps to show up. Next set of creeps comes up, they'll head back to the high ground looking to push this. Silence comes out from the Death Prophet. Swap comes out for the Vengeful Spirit, no Ancient Seal yet, Meatball comes through, and the Bristleback goes down, he is out of the game for 60 seconds now. Batrider not able to get a lasso up from his blink forward. Skywrath Mage goes down. Exorcism is over. Tower still at half HP, not able to get it. Blink, or Roar comes out onto this Templar Assassin, not able to pick her up. Don't have any detection right now. So it looks like unknown hold for the moment. Cost them a buyback and a couple deaths, but they didn't lose a second land racks, so they will be happy with that. We can see, in the end, 400 gold advantage towards Unknown, but both teams gaining money from the back of that. Book 3 up for the Beastmaster has a Blink Dagger, an extra 1,000 gold. We'll see what he wants to pick up next. Snowball forward from this Tusk. No Blink Dagger on him. He won't be able to get the catch out of the Beastmaster here. I think there's still a couple minutes until Roche... So both teams will likely head back to farming here. We can see net worth heavily in the favor of Leviathan Gaming, or Leviathan, I don't know if they're Leviathan Gaming. Heavily in the favor of Leviathan, they own the top four of the net worth board right now. Bat Rider has a Blink Dagger, has a four stop, another 500 gold. Disruptor. Glimmer Cape, Smoke, Magic Wand, some wards. Templar Assassin, what she's got. She's got a Desolator up, and that's it. Pretty poor on her. Just ahead of this Vengeful Spirit now. Bristleback, only 200 gold on top of that. He won't have much either. He's got a Vanguard and a Chain, or Blade Mail, sorry. We can see the Beastmaster and the Skywrath doing a little bit of scouting here. Looking for... Some of these unknown heroes trying to get a pick off to set up their next fight. Book actually comes out from the Beastmaster down here. Oh, no. Book is ready to go. Exorcism is up. Looks like they'll try to force a fight. 30 seconds until the Roche is up. Alacrity comes out. Batrider in the area, not able to get anybody with his blink forwards. Forge units able to clear this tower, and they'll just need another creep wave here, and they will walk to the high ground. Exorcism has not yet been popped. He'll pop it right now, and will walk up to the high ground, start chewing through these racks. This is where Unknown needs to make a stand. They need to have a nice blink forward by this Bat Rider, grab some of the important dragon back into the team. Instead, we see the Disruptor instantly die to the Mystic Flare. Meatball, Deafening Blast comes forward. Bristleback goes down. He won't have a buyback yet. Static Storm coming out. Death Prophet all doing a lot of damage to the entire team of Unknown. Disruptor goes back down. He's down for 50 seconds. Bat Rider going to die in the well. TA in the back healing up. They lose the lane of Rax. 
Sunstrike comes out onto the Tusk. He's dead. TA still alive. Tusk buys back, trying to buy as much time as possible. Still 30 seconds before the Disruptor and Batrider are up. Tusk goes down as soon as he comes out of the base here. Templar Assassin still alive. 15 seconds until the Bristleback can come back, but Unknown has had enough. They call it about 30k in the advantage of Leviathan by the end there. Alright guys, that was game one of Leviathan versus Unknown Gaming. This is the Pro Dota Cup. We'll be back with game two shortly.